welcome. This is a 2444 International. It's got fair oil pressure when it's warm, cold, and then as it warms up, it's got next to no oil pressure. So I'll go through and show you how we fix this. And this is the International 153 engine. It's in a lot of industrial equipment, it's along with the 444 International and other small tractors from the 60s. You see this oil starts chugging. I went and pulled the breather cap and it's fro flowing freely. I did wash it and it was completely plugged with dusty sediment. You can see right there the bottom plate of the oil pump's warped. So I'm sure that oil's pushing out there and that's why we lose oil pressure once the oil thins out. So before I clean this up, you can see the gaskets blown out here at the front between those two screws and the gears. It's hard to say if oil is pushing out. It didn't run long enough to wear that. But then it was also maybe warped, so we'll clean it up. Yes, it is. It's warped back here at the pressure relief. So we'll clean this up and then see what we can do about straightening it and make a new gasket. This is that oil pump bottom. Pulled the sump screen off. Got a parallel here, and you can visually see the plates warped. Both directions, over the pressure relief and over where the gears run. So I'll get the feeler gauge, I'll measure this, and see how much it really is. So here over the relief, it's about 50 thousandths. And then in the middle, it's about... 20. So I'm going to go ahead. I'll see if I can straighten this. If not, we'll sand on it a little. And if we have to, we'll order a new one. So to straighten out this cast aluminum, we'll heat it a little. This square tube is pretty flat. It's got about a 3,000 dip in the middle. This bar will sit flat, but we'll have to heat it up first. So pull it back. Sit it. Heat it till that soot starts to burn. Now that it's cool, let up, see how it did. It's definitely flatter. 
So we'll move on to this side. I left this whole repair sequence real time. Just so you can see, it doesn't take that long to fix it. So don't be scared to do it yourself. So to bend this one back, we want to hold the back side down while pushing this round part. So it needs to be slightly taller. So I got a block there. We'll put this block here. And then that one in between the bridge, push down. And it should straighten it. cooled off, we'll go ahead and lift it. Spring back a little, but it's definitely better. We'll fix what we can sanding now. So this is getting cleaned up. There's a low spot here in the middle. I'll probably leave all my gasket surfaces clean. All the outside is shiny. So to get this, just take your flat file with both hands, push across like that, and it'll just clean up and give it almost a polished finish. Since I don't know if this was just a poor quality part or bent over time, we're gonna make a little brace. Stiffen up over the pressure relief spring. Now you can kind of see I already traced it and we'll cut it out and fit it up.
So we've got oil pump gear, everything cleaned up, ready to go. Uh, we'll go ahead, we'll put aviation Permatex on here, put the gasket on, and then put it up in place. We got it back together, oil in it, so let's see what this oil pressure does.